First, you need to download the VMS for Mac application from Samba website. Go to sambatech.com. Under Support, select Download. And choose VMS for Mac from the software list. Next, let's install the program. First, please double click the downloaded DMG file. Then drag the VMS icon to application and the program will be automatically installed. You can check the program by navigating to the application tab of the system. Most likely you will get an arrow prompt uh, then just go to System Preference and go to Application, Security and Privacy and enable the program. Now you should be able to open the program. The default username and password for the VMS program is admin admin. However, please note this is not the account info for the camera. It is a user account for the VMS program to prevent unauthorized access to the surveillance software if you're using a public computer. The default password has been filled out, so you can just click Login. Next, please go to Device Manager to add a camera to the VMS program. Now I'm introducing two ways on how your camera will be added to the system. Note, in order for your IP cameras to be viewed on the desktop, your computer, router, and the camera should be on the same subnet. You don't need to have any of the network background. The only thing to know is the first three segments of the IP must be the same for all three devices. In the first case, if your camera is received as DHCP, you can see the silver tag on the camera or on the box to confirm. DHCP means you should not have to configure the IP address of the camera and the router will automatically assign one to your camera if the camera is properly connected. So in this case, when you click IPv4 search, the camera should appear automatically with a matching IP address. You can just click add and the camera will be shown as connected and we're ready to view the camera through the monitor page of VMS. Now, what if the camera doesn't appear here? This could have happened in rare cases if you don't have this problem, just skip to part 5 of the video. If this does happen that your camera cannot be searched by VMS program, a quick way is to log into your router, go to System Preference and Network, note this is a router IP. Let's simply put the router IP on the URL of the browser with an HTTP prefix to log into the router. The router has a page that will display all connected DHCP device with their IP. Use the MAC address you found on the silver tag of the camera to identify its IP. Then you can manually add the camera to the VMS program using its IP address. This is the easiest way for people who don't have backgrounds in computer science. If you're familiar with IP scan, uh, you can definitely use a terminal tool to get the ARP list of or connected device. Uh, if there is no way that you can find the camera through its MAC address, please double check its physical connection. Also, please note it is always recommended to test the camera using pre-made cables on the bench before mounting outside. If your camera is received as static IP, you have to pre-configure IP address of 192.168.110 and you need to change it to whatever that matches router of your site. Click IPv4 search and select the camera. Then check in order to log in, modify IP automatically and add the camera. The camera will automatically change to an IP value that matches router. We can then live view the camera once the status shows connected here. 
go to monitor page, double click the device on the list. You can also select the device and open its right click menu and choose mainstream. Click this icon to open the PTC control panel of the camera. There are eight directions you can rotate. You can also perform zoom actions as well. If you want to change the IP of the camera to other values, simply go to Device Config and then click Network to change the IP of the camera. To change the password of the camera, again you go to Device Config and select User Manager to add a password for the default account. After you change the password, don't forget to update the login info of the camera with its new password.